notice looking closely at it, it's not awesome to begin with. No. I mean, it's a little rough, uh, like the finish on it. Yep. Huh. I never really paid that much attention to it. Of course, it looks like maybe there was, there was something else here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's weird. Huh. I gotta, oh, I gotta go inside. And make sure all the windows are shut. Oh, that's a good idea. a vintage trillium fiberglass travel trailer and about to start work on it i have already started but i had to stop so somebody can film so the very first thing i'm gonna do um since i'm waiting on an axle supply chain collapsed for trailer parts rv parts i think because of the demand anyway i'm gonna start taking windows out oh okay so i'm on the front window uh I've taken out some of the peripheral screws and realized that the um, the rock guard is completely separate from the window frame. So the very first thing I'm doing is taking the rock guard off. I've got all the screws out. Some of them were like half gone. Want to see? Well, the rock guard itself is on a hinge and has a peripheral frame. I see. Which is separate. Because on uh, scamps, they just, it just pops off. Right, so this does not pop off. I tried to pop it off, but then, so this is the window, right? This frame is separate. It just goes, it wraps around the sides and top. So I'm going to take this off first, and then I have to do the, the window, which I'll probably need your help because it has a screen inside, and I'm not sure if it's attached all the way through to the screen. Or, anyway. So first thing coming off is this, but somebody did a really good job of sealing it. Like this product, whatever it is, is really robust <laughs> and it doesn't want to let loose. So that's the first thing I'm doing. But these screws on this side, they were gone. Like there's a wood frame in there and they're, they're literally, I put a screwdriver to them and I got nubs. Oh. They yeah. just fell apart. They just fell apart. So th those are gone, which tells me that that wood there is gone, which is probably part of why it's leaking. Oh, yeah. So that's what I'm doing is I'm pulling this out and scoring the edge of the seal, trying not to get in the fiberglass. And I've got one side already. That side just about completely loose. Probably should really get some plastic tools, but I don't own any. Probably a Harbor Freight trip coming up here. Anyway, so that one, that side's loose. And then start the other side, and then I'll work on the top. But this side is really adhered. It is Looks one. Like tape almost well they, they whoever did it did a really good job they put masking tape of some type here and then they ran their bead and pulled their tape so you get up <laughs> that nice clean, clean straight line it's one of the first things i noticed when i was looking at this when, we, when i bought it was somebody attempted to seal it up but i think it was too little too late <laughs> and this is not really designed i don't think to to keep it this here the best way. And I can get under it. I don't want to crack the fiberglass. There we go. Anyway, that's what the 
order of this is going to be is just slowly working this seal without damaging fiberglass. The, um, the window guard, the rock guard for the front window. And the, it actually has an awning track fitting on top of the frame. So it's like a half round and it goes in that upper channel. So once I got the side um, brackets undone, I was able to slide this out. I did have to WD-40 because there's a little bit of corrosion and dirt in there. But then it just sl it gets slided out to either side. Nice. Right? And so that's out there. Now i got to get that top frame out now. Oh, boy. So that's what's going I on didn't here. know it was separate. <clears throat> yeah. And there, the way it's locked in here, see this screw here? There's a slot right there. Yeah. And that slides in there. And then there's a screw that goes through that into the awning track on the rock guard. And it locks it into that upper frame so you can't, it won't fall, you can't, it won't come out. Right? So, right. So it's pretty simple. You take your time and pick it apart without damaging this. So whoever did the seal, he chose a really good caulking seal. Did not want to let go. <laughs> anyway, so now I got to do the same thing on the top. Get this this top bracket with this awning uh, track type receptacle off. Just breaking the seal and take the screws yeah, out. See, they, 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 they took this off <coughs> at some point. Somebody took it off and then caulked it because this well, maybe not. And then they got under there really good, and then they got some. Adhesive or old beetle tape sticking out underneath there, so it might be from a prior removal. Anyway, okay, you can see they've had it off, they've caulked the crud out of this thing, even to the point where this is the cover for the screws on the window below it, and it's stuck with some. I don't know what that is, I'm not familiar with what that adhesive is but it is Man. robust oh, yeah so anyway it's all off now i can start working on the window okay gone end of it's gone gone this side is the worst the other side wasn't bad it's been taking on more water on this side well it, it, i mean that's where the water leak started right so it's got some sort of wood frame under it that's under that elephant hide stuff. And once it gets a water leak, the water gets into the wood and then the wood starts to rot. And the leak gets worse and the rot gets worse. And when people try to, rather than fix it, they caulk it, which you can get away with for a long time. If you caulk it early enough. Okay, getting this window out. It took all the peripheral screws, mounting screws out. Um, I'm assuming there's a wood frame. I think there's a wood frame that goes around it because everything's rotten. Anyway, it has a dried out butyl tape. Some of it wants to stick, some of it doesn't. So I slowly work my way around this periphery. And now I'm ready to... I got one corner started. So it should come out now. Yep, it's going to come. There's the window. Oh. Oh, they it's use plywood. No wonder. Anyway, the plywood's all rotten. Not too bad there. Rotten all around this corner. It's gone. So anyway, that's the window. You can see all the dry butyl tape, which is, you know, that's supposed to stop water. But, you know, it's, out. it's probably original, so it's, it's done. 1978. So there's, there's a window. Look at that. Hey, you can see right into the trailer. <laughs> uh. Oh, boy. <coughs> oh, boy's right. This is your shelf. Oh, yeah. And the shelf must be... Oh, 
the shelf is hitting on the top of the window frame. Oh, it is. All right, so this fiberglass shelf, the um, forward side of it actually uses the frame of the window for support, so for its forward support. And in order to fix the window frame, however I end up doing that, I need to get this out of the way. And of course, it's got a light with some wiring on it. So I gotta figure out how to get that disconnected without causing too much mayhem. And then it's just got screws that are screwing into various spots. So it's screwed over here, which is probably the wood for the door frame for the hinges. And it's screwed into, or it's riveted. Right. So I'll have to, I'll have to drill that rip, uh, two rivets. I have to drill those out. Yeah, see the wood's good there because that's really tight. Um, I call them Robertson or we call them square drives down here. But this is built in Canada. Yeah, so that's or you know back back in the day. And they're on a mix of metric and standard, so that's why it's. Uh, I don't know. I haven't done any. Um, haven't got to any like bolts. Yeah. Yeah. Hearings and screws, so it doesn't this, matter. Well, I mean, it, technically there is a metric, and a, but you won't notice that with the, the drive of the head so much. So I've got the window out, and I've gotten the entire inner wood frame out. Oh. Okay. So this is what this is. I think this is the bottom piece, and you can see it would be that corner there. It's been leaking for a while. The wood's all rotten, um, and this entire piece was rotten. So I peeled back the, uh, the uh, what they call the elephant hide. It's a foam back like a rubber membrane type skin, um, which I'm assuming is for condensation and a little bit of insulation. That's what we have instead of wrap fur in the Instead of wrap fur, the trillium. what we have. It's fairly durable because I was able to kind of peel it back and take a, a wood chisel and then cut the cement, pull and stretch and cut. Anyway, so I got it all pulled back I started cleaning this periphery. I knew that I had some cracking here, and I wasn't sure if it was just gel coat or if it was actual glass. And what he got is a little mismatch in the molding because this is flat here, flat piece of wood frame on a flat piece of wood frame, but this has still got too much curve. So over time it cracked, and you can hear it. Hear that bump bouncing? So that's, in, in aerospace, we call that delamination. In other words, it's the, the glass is separated from itself. So, hard, delaminated, hard, delaminated. So what I gotta do is I've gotta replace this. I've gotta cut this out and then redo it. But I think I'm gonna clean everything up and actually put the frame in place. It'll be temporary so that it's flat and flat and then I'll redo it to the flat surface, refinish it, and I can I think that's the best way to do it. Not sure. But that's what I'm gonna try.